In this video, I'm gonna give single string archery shooters a detail that they should not miss. This isn't just for new people, this is also for seasoned shooters as well because I've seen it many a times with people who are not just new, but people who are also very experienced shooters do this one thing that is very simple that will easily increase your scores and tighten up your groups. Many of those people who are seasoned shooters don't even know they're doing this, and that simple thing is to just shut your mouth while you're shooting archery. So after the intro, we're gonna get outside and I'm gonna shoot some arrows out of this bow and show you why it's so important that you have your mouth shut, your teeth touching when you're at full draw. It may seem silly, but I promise you it makes a huge difference on the target and I can't underestimate how many people do this and don't realize they are shooting without their teeth touching. Before I go outside, I wanted to thank Marku for sending me a, uh, a nice jacket here from the Finland archery team. This is from the Wilhelm Tell Archery Club. I assume an homage to William Tell. And I'm excited someday to head out to Finland to host an archery seminar out there. I'm not sure when, but I'm hoping in the future it will happen. And I've never been to Finland, so I'm excited to have that opportunity. So now I'll get warmed up, put my quiver on, head outside, and we'll start shooting some arrows so I can prove to you how important it is to shut your mouth while shooting your bow. Okay, so we're finally outside. I have a camera downrange so you'll be able to see the impact points the entire time. I'm here at uh, about 30 meters or so, give or take. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot an arrow or two here with my teeth touching, mouth shut. And you'll see they'll land pretty close to each other. And then I'll start to open my mouth when I'm at full draw and we'll see what happens downrange. So when I say teeth touching, the main thing is the molars. You want your back teeth to be touching, not your front teeth. It's a little more consistent if you can do it in the back. The second one wasn't the greatest shot in the world. It's been a while since I've shot really any archery, been busy. But anyway, now I'll shoot with my mouth open. And you'll see that it doesn't touch before I lift. I'll keep my mouth open and continually have my mouth open. Not my lips open, but my teeth aren't going to be touching. And I'll really exaggerate as much as I can so you can clearly see the difference. And wow. I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd even hit the target because it felt really weird. And not only did it feel weird, um, you know, kind of anchoring that low, it also was very odd because I couldn't hit my consistent anchor. So this type of thing, clearly you can see that it has a massive impact on where the arrows land only here at 30 meters. 30 meters is far for people who are new as far as archery is concerned, but 30 meters is very close considering the normal distance that I would shoot or that we shoot using an Olympic style recurve at the uh, Olympic distance, which is 70 meters. So we're less than half the distance there. And if I would have shot that arrow with my mouth open that much at 70, uh, there's no way that arrow would have hit the bale. So I'll do one more with my mouth open. How can I possibly expect consistent results downrange when I have my mouth open? Now those two shots happen to have my mouth open a relatively similar amount uh, between those two shots. But what happens if I'm partially closed? Let's try to split the difference. I'm going to do my best to hit somewhere in the red high. I'm going to aim in the middle still, uh, just like I did on those four shots in total. But I'm going to try to split the difference with my teeth being almost touching, but not quite still a little bit open, but not as open as those two that went in the blue. So you can see clearly that as I have variance in my mouth being open or closed or how much it is open or closed, it makes a huge difference as far as impact points on the target is concerned. So the main goal, in my opinion, is to shut your mouth while shooting archery. It seems ridiculous, seems like a small detail that 
People that know, of course, will say, well, of course. And even people that know that they shouldn't have their mouth open, some do. And uh, it happens. I have people that I coach and they've been shooting for a decade or more. Shot world-class scores with a different style of bow, but for whatever reason, here on a single string bow, recurve bare bow doesn't matter, shoot with their mouth open and they just don't have consistent results. They have variance vertically on the target, just like I did, and can't explain it. There are many different things that can cause this outside of having your mouth open, but the mouth being open, the teeth not touching, most importantly, is the biggest cause for concern. Next with that would be other things like anchor position, bow hand grip position, uh, finger pressure positions, things like that that can cause this type of variance. But in general, the number one factor is the teeth not touching when at full draw. I argue that even shooting bare bow, even if you're anchoring up here, using your canine tooth, your eye tooth, whatever you want to call it, depending on where you are in the world, I think you still need to have your mouth, your teeth shut when you're shooting because your anchor back here where it touches will change the feeling of it slightly depending on if your jaw is open slightly more or not in between different shots. I touch the molars here when I hook and grip before I lift the bow. I touch my teeth before I shoot. I don't like to have my jaw hanging open here to then close it before I come into anchor. Because sometimes I find, at least the students that I work with, not myself because I always have my teeth touching, they'll forget sometimes to close their mouth when they're shooting and then they have a high arrow and because they don't do it that often they kind of brush it off and forget about it. But a six like that at 30 meters here on a big face is punishing. That's a huge miss in my, for my skill level at least. So if I shoot with my teeth touching for a few more arrows here, they just continually drop in the middle. And something that's kind of funny, honestly, um, because I just don't shoot with my mouth open ever, it really is hard to anchor. It feels totally different. It just doesn't feel the same. So not only am I getting vertical variance when my teeth are open, it also feels different. And if it feels different, how can you expect to be consistent downrange when it doesn't feel the same from shot to shot? Not only do you need to do the same, you need to try to get the same feeling and try to replicate that time after time. It matters a lot in archery to do the same thing over and over again. And that is important at any level. I try to do the same thing over and over again, no matter the type of scores that I shoot, no matter the style of bow that I'm shooting, I always shoot with the same form over and over again, and I shut my mouth when I'm shooting my bow. Unless, of course, I'm talking on camera like this, then obviously I'm talking. But in general, I'm quiet. I shut my mouth, I touch my teeth when I'm trying to shoot some arrows. And you can get consistent results and you'll get tighter groups downrange if you do that one simple thing.